Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. So today we have a collaboration, as you guys can see. It's gonna be with my girl, Miss Glam Shea. Super excited to be collaborating with her. I consider her an OG over here on this platform. She brings the fabulousness, she brings the glam. She is just everything and all that to me. So thank her again for, like I said, collabing. Um, we're gonna be bringing you guys a wig review. She does do wig reviews over on her channel. She does other things as well. Um, you know, all kind of stuff from fashion hauls to makeup to things like that. So. After you watch my video, go over and give her some love. If you're not already subscribed to her, consider subscribing to her. Don't forget to follow her on her social medias. So let's go ahead on and let's get into today's review. So for all my returning subscribers, as you guys can see, this is not my normal background. I am on vacation, but we had to get this review done. So the review we're going to be doing today is going to be Nisha 208. I have her in the color 1B. She is new to the Nisha line. Um, she is by Outre. So we're going to be reviewing this one. It is a throw and go. It is heat safe. It does say it has HD lace. Can we give it up for all the ladies on the inside of the card, girl? Because they all are rocking and styling these niches. I have a couple of them, not all of them, but I think I do have most of them out of the line. As you Y'all know these niches come with some beautiful colors. Whatever color you want, sis, they will hook you up over there. I'll trick. They don't play. This wig is long. This wig is thick. This wig has curls. This wig um, has a little bit of everything. Parting area isn't too, too bad. I will tell y'all right away. I did go in and I did pluck it. As you can see, the lace is light on this. Again, it is supposed to be the HD lace. You do get your regular cap constructions with your combs. Um, two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and the adjustable straps on it. So we're going to speed her up because you guys already know Nisha is the business for most people however i am coming for outre in this one so y'all might be mad at me at the end because i'm coming for them because what i want from them is i want them to take nisha and i want them to put her into the melted hairline give me some more parting space give me a 2.5 um parting area and you know decrease a little bit of the humpage in the front and make sure that that parting area is a little bit more plugged so as I gave y'all all that, I'm going to also tell you guys that I am appreciative for the texture and for the length and for them giving us the curls and the volume in this wig. I think that it is beautiful. However, I feel like it just will not last. So I'm not here to roast the wig. Don't think that's what I'm doing. But I am here to give you guys some real, real. I ended up having to switch my, my wig over to the side. I did like it as a middle part, but I felt that it was just too much for me. I have a big face. I think I could have carried it. But y'all know I'm a left side part girl so after I got my part all cleaned out on um, the way that I wanted it I did switch it over to the left side and then I went in and plucked where I was gonna pull a couple hairs out and then cut them and make them into baby hairs so getting into the lace I did have to tint the lace I used, did use some of my Evelyn New York that is the spray to tint it and then at the end you'll see I am gonna go in with a little bit of powder just to um, make it blend into um, my edges. Now I did use spray and I did take the hairs and I did um, lay those down, making them a little bit hard using my blow dryer right there. Um, I think that that came out okay. I feel like it gave it a slick look on the side with me switching it over because when we switching it, since it was the middle part, of course it knocked some things off. So I did have to get a little bit creative. But I wanted to show you, I know a lot of people wore it as a middle part that you can switch her over to um, one side or the other, whichever you decide to um you know decide to do so after i did that and um got the hairs down in the front i feel like for me it came together it looked better on me so now i'm going to get into some things that i didn't like once you start running your hands through it underneath the curls are gone so you will have to use a curling iron or rollers to get those curls back um, I feel like the hair is very natural and since it is textured, the curls underneath or the lack thereof did not last for me. So I did just have that volume on the top. When you go running your hands through that underneath section, it was rough, it was tangling, it was thick and like I said, it just, I couldn't, I couldn't get down with it. So I felt like, I don't know if people talked about that, but that piece underneath there, it just, it, was, it wasn't holding up. And so I kept having to go in and go in and go in and get it right. So at the end, I end up fluffing the curls out and I did wear her for like the day. I think this is glam hair. I think this is birthday hair. I think this is I'm going out for the night and I just want to, you know, show off kind of hair. This is not going to be your everyday wear and the reason why is because those curls aren't going to last. It is really, really thick. So you are going to have to like keep putting your hands in it. Now, as you can see, I did slick that side down and made it really flat. I did that with my hot comb. So all in all, I like the wig. I'm not saying I don't like it. I'm just saying you guys should know everything about 
about it before you start to go spend coins on it. So it is long, it is thick, it is luscious. I'm serving, I know I'm serving, and the hairline on it, I did make it work for me because you guys know my edges come out. So this is going to be pretty much the final look for I want you guys to see how long it is. Thank y'all for joining me today on the channel. Y'all know I appreciate y'all pulling up on a sister. Thank again to Miss Glam Shay for also um, collabing with me today. I really appreciate that as well. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think it should be a part of the melted hairline? Do you think we need to ask Altre for more instead of just getting the same thing and having to deal with that because we're getting texture? Let me know, sis. If you leave your thoughts in the comment section below, if you guys decide to share this video or any of my videos on your social media platform don't forget to tag me in it instagram twitter facebook or tiktok the name is beauty by mark i will see you ladies and gentlemen in my next video bye